All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, the second troubleshooting tutorial. We're going to take a look at troubleshooting specifically your USB to phone connection, some of the things you might have to do to initially get connected. Um, if during your attempts to connect, you do a connect to phone in the blocks editor, and you see, oops, App Inventor is having trouble communicating with the phone. You can assume that as far as App Inventor is concerned, your phone is not connected. Whether the physical USB cable is plugged into the phone and the computer is irrelevant. So at this point, we have to dive a little bit deeper. We're going to um, check using ADB devices to see if um, ADB sees any devices. And then we're also going to check uh, the computer operating system to see if the operating system sees the device as well. After which we will look at um, uh, installing and reinstalling drivers for uh, devices. Now, it'll have to be a little bit generic. We can't take time to uh, dig into every device, but to point people to the right locations um, for the USB device drivers that are provided with the App Inventor Extras, as well as um, how to put in custom manufacturer drivers. All right, we're going to use ADB devices to check real quick, real quick and see if my computer sees any connected Android devices. If you're not familiar with this process, go back to the getting started tutorial and uh, look through how we use set up and use the ADB. So I'm going to run the command like we did in the last tutorial, the ADB devices and see what's connected. Now, the list of devices attached uh, you can see is uh, non-existent. There is no code there. It says list of devices attached and then there's nothing. What we want to see is 16 digit code. So we don't currently see any devices uh, there. So I'm going to go to my Windows 7 device manager. I can do that by clicking the medallion, uh, then clicking control panel, and then clicking device manager. In Device Manager, I'm looking for an ADB Device Bridge um, device. I don't see that here. It normally would be up here at the top. It says ADB. Um, if I don't see that, I'm going to look in the Universal Serial Bus Controllers for perhaps a device with no driver, which would have a little exclamation point on it, or a device that has malfunction, which would have a red X on it. So this little icon here would have a red X on it. I don't see anything here. At this point, I'm going to assume, because neither ADB, um, nor App Inventor, nor my system sees any device that I recognize as possibly belonging to my phone, I'm going to assume that either the cable is bad or, hey, I'm not connected. If you have a USB hub, it's quite possible that a single port on a hub, or even a single port on a computer, can go bad. You can even have ports that go flaky caused by uh, excessive physical uh, manipulation. In other words, as you plug in devices and unplug devices on a cheaply made um, board or computer or USB hub, you can actually begin to work um, play, looseness into the connection and that can make the connection very flaky. So I'm going to unplug and replug the device. Now, right now I am actually plugging in my Droid 1 and you should hear that bubonk sound, very familiar sound to anyone who plugged in a USB device. If you don't hear that bubonk sound, then you actually uh, are not making a connection as far as your computer is concerned. Once again, we're going to look to the possible faulty cable or USB port or USB hub. You'll notice in my device manager, uh, there has popped up a ADB interface here. I'm going to expand the ADB interface interface and see that there uh, is a specific kind of an ADB interface. For some devices, it's important that that device um, description contain some part of uh, the manufacturer, the hardware manufacturer's name. You see here MOT for Motorola, Motorola Composite ADB Interface. It's pretty important for Droid 1 um, and the rest of the Droid lines from Motorola. Uh, although I do believe um, the Incredible does not have to have the Motorola Composite. It, in fact, will say uh, ADB Composite. If you see something here um, other than um, your manufacturer's name and everything is working, that's fine. If you see a generic ADB interface that doesn't um, 
mention your device or your device manufacturer and everything is working, no sweat. But if, if, if something is not working, if you have bad results, you might want to um, remove this interface and reinstall. If we have in fact determined that there are device dri drivers installed, but we still cannot connect to App Inventor with our phone, or rather connect App Inventor to our phone, um, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is attempting to update the drivers for uh, your phone using the drivers that come packaged with the App Inventor Extras. So find that device in your device manager, right click the device and click the update driver software. So we're going to browse my computer for driver software and then we're going to navigate to that App Inventor directory that we mentioned in the last tutorial. Uh, the default install location, which you probably uh, should not uh, change, is under the C directory and then your program files. In this case, program files 32-bit because I'm running uh, the 64-bit version of the operating system. So program files x86, then then Android, and then App Inventor Extras, and then we see USB driver. So I'm going to select the USB driver directory and click OK. Um, then I will click Next, and it will scan that directory for updated drivers. I'm using a 64-bit of Windows, so I actually don't want to do that because I'm using the Motorola 64-bit drivers for the Droid 1, which leads me into the next demonstration. If the drivers that come with App Inventor Extra do not work for your phone, you're going to need to go to the web and find drivers for your phone. So this took me just searching in Google for drivers for Droid brought me the first result to Droid by Motorola support. And I can go to here and download the 64-bit Droid drivers. This is going to be different for every phone. Um, if you have a, uh, uh, let's say, an Ally. Here we go, USB driver download. Here's the Verizon LG Ally USB driver download. Um, we would want to uh, download those. You can download direct the Rogers LG KM55UR USB driver download. We would download those um, and then put them in a specific directory, at which point we could then uh, point to those uh, USB drivers to update our USB drivers. Once you have updated your USB drivers, you're going to want to reboot your machine. All right, that was for Windows 7. For Windows XP, I've got open my Windows XP mode virtual PC here. Um, the easiest way to get to your device manager is to click Start, right-click My Computer, and then click Manage. Manage is going to bring up a number of different console items here, but what you want is this one here, the Device Manager. So I'm going to click on Device Manager, and it lists out devices here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my phone to this virtual uh, PC, a USB, and attach the Motorola A855. I've never installed this here. So what we should see is it discovers um, that it doesn't have any drivers on virtual PC, and so it wants to find some. I'm going to tell it not to look uh, for any drivers, and um, it tells me, hey, do you want to, uh, you have a CD to come with it or whatever? I'm going to actually say install from a list or a specific location. I'm going to click next. At this point, I'm going to uncheck the search removable media. That's save time. Click include this location in the search. And then I'm going to browse um, to that App Inventor Extras directory, which remember is going to be under C uh, and then program files, etc. For this virtual machine, I'm actually going to search on C on my host, host machine. So I'm navigate, navigating down to C and then 32-bit program files and scroll down to Android and then the App Inventor Extras and then I'm going to select the USB driver directory. Say OK. So it plugs that all in there for me. I'm going to click Next. It's going to be installing, as you can see, the Android Composite ADB interface. All right. 
at which point then it's completed the installation of the Android Composite ADB interface. All right, so we get this little message down here. We found new hardware. We found new disk drive. That's your SD card. Um, we see also Android phone now under uh, devices pops up here at the top and the Android Composite ADB interface. Um, and once again, this machine would want a reboot before it was all happy uh, with that device. You can see a little exclamation point on here. Not exactly how sure the um, a virtual machine actually would uh, be happy with uh, developing, but we can give it a shot, actually. Another thing that you want to make sure of once you have connected your USB cable to your phone and to your computer is that on your phone you see in the upper left-hand corner uh, the little bug and the little USB symbol. That means that USB uh, mode is connected and the debugging is turned on. Now what USB mode you are actually in depends on the device. Some devices such as the Droid X, Droid X and the uh, Samsung Galaxy S phones have three or four modes. Um, you will need to look up specifically in the forum which mode your phone needs to be in. Just search in the Google uh, group for your particular phone. So we're going to look at how to make sure that is on. The other thing you want to make sure of um, is that you do not have mass storage turned on for most phones. I believe there may be some exceptions, but generally speaking, you do not want to turn on USB storage. USB storage is going to make the SD card exclusive to your computer's operating machine, operating system, sorry. What that means is, is when App Inventor tries to load media onto the SD card root, which is where uh, it stores the information that your apps will be using, such as uh, pictures, uh, media, etc., it will not be able to do so. And so your app will not have the media. Sounds won't play, movies won't play, pictures won't be there, etc. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't have USB mass storage turned on for most devices. So generically speaking, on our emulator here, let's look at how you would set the phone settings and what they need to be uh, to be used with App Inventor. Uh, you're going to pull up your settings menu. Uh, the first thing you're going to go to is into the applications. Under applications, you should see an entry on most Android devices that says development. You're going to select development. You're going to make sure USB debugging is selected. Make sure that stay awake is selected and also um, allow mock locations. Um, that's not as important unless you're using SDK development, so not quite as important. Yeah, for what we're talking about here. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the orientation sensor doesn't change the phone's orientation whenever we move it. Uh, typically speaking, it's going to be under sound and display or display settings, uh, and that's going to look like this, orientation. Switch orientation automatically when rotating the phone. Uh, we're going to make sure that is unselected so that it doesn't change the orientation. The reason for that is changing the orientation when you're in dev mode will cause your application, uh, the uh, App Inventor application, to crash. So if you've gone through all of these steps and when you collect, click connect to phone, you still get the App Inventor as having trouble communicating with the phone, then it's time to jump into the Google group, um, give us your operating system, Give us uh, as much information as you can, including your uh, particular phone, uh, which version of Android your phone is currently running, whether it's rooted, um, and then the particular behavior that you're seeing, such as um, I plug in my phone, ADB uh, devices shows the phone is connected, um, but I cannot connect using the blocks um, editor, such as what we see here. If that's the case, it gives us enough information to start giving you more advanced troubleshooting, such as um, checking log output, etc. All right, guys, good luck and um, happy troubleshooting and happy app inventing.